Ma'ako i Iraq. Let's learn about making digital learning content. In the next six minutes, we are going through the steps to creating an e video by adding audio to an existing animated GIF image. The first step is to convert the typically small GIF file to the AVI file format using QuickTime Pro. The second step is to add audio with Dubit, a free utility from TechSmith. And finally, step 3 sees us convert the AVI file format to MPEG-4 file format using M2. Just to let you know, QuickTime Pro is $30 and Dubit is free. M2 Video Converter is $60. Both QuickTime and M2 Video Converter are useful beyond what I'm showing here and I suggest worth the license fee. Let's begin. First of all, let's get an animated GIF that needs audio. Say one that can assist a second language learner of English. From the Carpi Group homepage, I can click on Image Gallery. It's listed here under Useful Links. We've made over 2,000 images available here, so far divided across 50 image galleries. The image gallery I want is called About Literacy, Spell Right 300. In this gallery are over 300 animated GIFs. I'll scroll down to an image of an ant. I now need to download this to my desktop. By clicking on it to display it in the viewer, then right clicking to display Save Image As. And finally, I click Save. This will save to my downloads directory on my Windows desktop. I'll now switch over to my downloads directory and there the ant image is. I've got to rename it to remove the macrons that are used in the Maori language. Now let's open QuickTime Pro and drag and drop the animated GIF onto it. All I need to do here is to go file export in order to convert from GIF A to AVI. I'll return to my Downloads folder, and there is a new file. Next step. I need to open this AVI in Dubit so that I can add audio to the file. And look, going from Animated GIF to AVI has increased the file size 100-fold. Now that it's open, let's click on the Record icon and add the narration. A N T and let's click on stop record and resave the file as an AVI again but this time change the file name to end with KG02 before uploading to YouTube or Vimeo I want to convert the AVI to an MPEG-4 file format which will ensure iPad or iPhone users can play the video Let's find the file and open it. M2 converts to a large range of video formats, from iPod to Android to PS2 Player. I'm going to choose YouTube HD Video, HD for high definition. I press Convert and there I have it, converted and ready to upload to YouTube. And look, the file size should have been 7 megabytes, but is now 260 kilobytes, which is even smaller than it was after initially converting from GIF to AVI using QuickTime. Finally, let's switch to YouTube. Select Upload, locate the file, and while it's processing, let's update these fields. Description add some tags, make it public, and here we have it, a video from an image uploaded to YouTube and ready to be watched and shared. Be warned, there are a lot of gotchas with online video. There are many other pathways to this endpoint using other software. This is simply the pathway I'm currently following. And don't forget, you can only monetize online content that you have the right to publish.
Before you upload, document whose permission you need. This includes permission from the image owner, permission from any actors within the image, and permission from the narrator and or soundtrack. Thanks for your time today.